So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titan sets for the Mass Effect armor. If you guys don't know Hunters, we already have your video. It's right here. And we also have the review video and the shader video. So this is really fun because the Titans, I had a lot of fun with. It was so much fun making some of these sets. Granted, there's some sets that are better than others for sure. But overall, I'm quite proud with these sets. Titans, let me know what you guys think about these sets. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because I do think my content is worth it. And if you guys really did like it, again, subscribe because a lot of people that actually come to my content do not subscribe. So if you guys can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. And in the future, if you guys don't like my content anymore, you can always unsubscribe and let me know what I did wrong, obviously. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're gonna be using the n7 helm and gauntlets and this set i actually like quite a bit because it gives me like a very like uh futuristic runner type thing so for the chest piece hardened basilisk chest plate for the boots we're gonna be using the peacekeepers and then for the mark we're gonna be using the intrepid exploit mark so again like i said this one gives me very much like a runner type thing very sleek and really cool looking if i'm being quite honest the shader we're going to be using Tr golden trace just because a it turns off the omni tool for the right side of the arm and it gives this really cool gold unfortunately the n7 helm does have an off color at the chin so you will see that white but the arms also do have a little bit of that off color so i'm like not super annoyed about it but i'm i'm gonna tell you right now i still notice it but I overall like this set a lot. Um, is it the best one? No, I don't think it's the best one. The best one is the last one, which you guys will see why. But let me know what you guys think about this set. For the next set, we're going to be using the N7 Gauntlets again with the N7 Mark. And this one, I decided to go for a tactical slash almost casual look. It's like a casual tactical look, I guess. For the helmet, Deep Explorer Helm in combination with the Veritas Plate. And then the reticle lock for the abeyant leaps is what we're going to be using. I love this ornament. It's one of my favorite ornaments, especially if you want to go for a tactical look. And the only thing I could tell you that you I could probably have been done better is choose a better mark. Just because the left side is super empty and I might as well have just used a mark that like covers that left side. So that way it's like doesn't look visually empty there because it does look super empty there. But I wanted to use the N7 mark on this one because we have the glow on the helmet, the arms, and I want and the boots, and then I wanted something on the hip as well. So that's why I ended up using the N7 mark. This one is not my favorite uh, because the last two I think are just visually a lot more interesting. That being said, I would probably switch out the shader for instead of venomous, just because I feel like that's visually what's making me kind of be like, oh, it's fine because it's just black, brown, and green. Maybe switching out the shader for something else would have been a little bit better. That being said, remember that the N7 gauntlets and that's actually pretty much it. It takes the off color for the shoulder pads, which is why I was kind of annoyed with it. But not only that, but the arms also take um, different colors for both sides. So there's a lot of things to go into, but I'm not annoyed with this set. If anything, I really do like this set. I would just switch out the mark and maybe the shading for something else. As for the next set, we're going to be using the N7 plate chest piece. Now, this one is really cool because when I first saw this chess piece, I immediately was like, I'm going to combine this with the Marin's Odyssey for the Dune Marchers. And I know it's going to look cool because it just it's going to give a really cool vibe. And I wasn't wrong. I definitely like how it looks for the helmet and the arms. We're going to be using the hardened basilisk. That being said, you can definitely switch out the helmet for something else. You can definitely do that because now that I'm really looking at this, I could have used a better helmet for this. That being said, I don't hate it. It's just one of those things where I don't want to use two pieces from the same set. But at the same time, two pieces from the same set is my limit. So I'm not really that bothered by it. And then for the Mark Iron Will Mark is what we're using, which I think is fine. It's just the fact that the like insignia at the back doesn't change color, which is very aggravating. But for the shader, we're going to go for House of Marin because the boots are Marin inspired. House of Marin, it just makes sense. And I love this set. This set came out really, really cool. If you want to rep House of Marin, you definitely want to go for Titans, uh, get the Marin's Odyssey, and get the House of Marin shader. This set is going to basically be like, Mar like Marin's like representative feel. It looks so cool. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the N7 Greaves. Now, this one I can confidently say is my absolute favorite set that I've made so far because not only are we using an exotic ornament that I really love, which it's right here. I'm not even going to try to say the name of it, but it's an ornament for an exotic that I really, really like. 
uh, the Lorelei Splendor helmet more specifically. But the other cool thing about this set is the fact that we're using a shader that I also really love, but I'm manipulating it in a way that I'm, you, I'm just showcasing the leather portions of it. Because if you guys don't know, the leather portions will have this really cool brown color, but the plate armor is going to be like a platinum, like chrome color. So that's why I'm using so many of these pieces, because I know a lot of these pieces are purely leather or mostly leather, I should say. So the Kogan beat gauntlets, that's literally just pure, cl uh, not cloth, but leather. The Care Morin plate, all, like 80% of this is just purely leather. And then the stomach has some metal in there and then the swords in the back and then the necklace as well as is metal but it's not gonna have that chrome color the n7 greaves only has metal at the bottom specifically the feet which is why i was like this is not a problem and then the wolf kissed mark nothing i don't i don't even think that has metal at all that i also should mention n7 greaves does have metal like in the hips but the mark is like covering almost all of it so that's why i'm not too bothered by it so yeah, this one's my favorite, like for sure, for sure my favorite, just because A, not only do I have that like Viking theme kind of going for myself, but I think the padding for the Kogan B Gauntlet goes really well with this because it makes it look, it completes the whole look for me because I was thinking maybe I should switch the arms out and it did look cool, but it didn't look unique like this does because it looks, everything looks like it belongs with each other. So titans let me know what you guys think i definitely love the last one so much so that i actually replaced my lorelei spendler look for this one because i think it just looks so amazing so titans let me know what you guys think i really really had a lot of fun with this one but i'm gonna be honest with you guys as much as as much fun as i had with the titan one i think the warlock one i had a lot more fun just because a lot of the pieces were really cool specifically there's one set that i made that it's just every piece has an electrical vibe to it which is super cool but i would lie would, i'd be lying if i said the titans like i had a lot of fun with it specifically the lorelei splendor set i was just on cloud nine because i was like this looks so cool each piece that i was putting into it i was like this is looking cool and then when i finished it i was just like this is it this is a look so Titans, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Warlocks, don't worry. You guys will have your video soon. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.